This is Pastor Mark. Christ is risen, Christ is risen indeed. This is the third reading from this Holy Week as we walk through these days of Christ's passion from Monday, Thursday to Good Friday to Easter morning. Um, I'm reading the story from the Spark Story Bible um, on page 482, if you want to pause and turn to that page. And I'm going to read the story of the empty tomb. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Uh-oh. They had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening to the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. Oh, it was dark in there. Burr, it was cold in there. Drip, drop, it was damp in there. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Oof! Mary bumped into a man, tripped, and fell at his feet. Wait! She knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait! She knew that hand. She looked up. Yes, she knew that smile. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The women hugged his feet and shouted with joy. Go tell the others the good news that I am alive, Jesus said. I will meet them in Galilee. I can't wait to see them again. The women had a new job to do. They had to tell everyone Jesus was alive. Jesus was alive. And just like Mary and the others whose job it was to go tell others that Jesus was alive, that's our job too. Even in these days when it's hard to be inside and apart from friends and teachers and not doing the things that we're used to doing, Jesus is still alive. There's still new life for us to see, love to share. So I want you to know that you are loved. I want you to have a blessed and happy Easter. And we will see each other again, hopefully sooner than later. But blessings on this Easter and always. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Happy Easter.